today in this video I'm gonna show you how you can uh, configure your telnet uh, on H HP switches <clears throat> so uh, by default telnet is uh, disabled only uh, both telnet and SSH are disabled you can only console into the into the HP switch switch <clears throat> so in this video, uh, I'm gonna show you how you can uh, log into uh, HP switches uh, using Telnet and or through Telnet, Telnet and using a a username or local uh, user or local account. So I have a, a topology here. We have a basically a core core one access switch one and host this is the same topology that I used uh, when I talked about uh, bridge aggregation <clears throat> configuring bridge aggregation on HP switches but uh, in but uh, I can you know I can use the same topology uh, to show you how you can uh, configure telnet so let me go into the switch access switch so let me do a show display users I mean show display users <clears throat> uh, display users uh, this is aux meaning that uh, here aux meaning that I am connected to this switch via console um, and this switch uh, it has a an IP address so I can actually console into it uh, after I mean telnet into it uh, after we have configured the uh, configured telnet let me open also the uh, core one so they have the same I mean they have IP addresses configured on them so so I can also uh, turn that into uh, access switch from from core from the uh, uh, core one core one switch here so creating a local user so in this case, uh, we're going to use a uh, local user or local account so we can uh, access or log into the switch. So first, uh, you have to, we have to create a, a local user. I'm going to go to system view, by the way, system view, uh, meaning that this is where you can make changes on the on the device so local user admin so this is actually the name you can name you can you know choose any names that you want but, but in this case I'm gonna say admin and class so we have two classes manage and network I'm gonna choose manage because I want to manage the the device uh, I want to make changes to it and so it says here new local user added and <clears throat> service type so I'm gonna say telnet and SSH I'm going to talk about SSH, configuring SSH, SSH on the future videos, uh, but in this case we are just uh, enabling both Telnet and SSH. So authorization, attribute, user role, so I want this to be, we have a list of user roles here, but I want this user to have 
the network admin role and password I want to assign a password so hash simple I'm gonna use simple password is HP so we have configured the our local user and next is configuring telnet so like I said uh, telnet is or telnet server feature is disabled disabled by default so we have to uh, enable it uh, so telnet server enable and I'm gonna go into the line BTY04 authentication so we actually have uh, three types of authentication non password scheme so non meaning that uh, there's no uh, you can log in without authentication password uh, meaning that uh, you have to provide a password scheme meaning that uh, you have to um, to use a, a local account or if you have a like remote I mean radius or tacax uh, configured you can use the uh, <clears throat> the username that is configured on the on on the servers but uh, in this case we are just using a, a local user or local account so we're gonna use the local account when we log in later uh, through telnet so protocol uh, inbound did I enable SSH also I think I just enabled uh, oh yeah, we, we actually both enabled telnet and SSH uh, but I'm just gonna enable uh, telnet here so display uh, this so as you can see uh, we have configured this line here um, line BTY 0 through 4 authentication uh, scheme um, uh, this is this is enabled by default you can't actually delete this so let me try and delete it just so you can see it undo user role network operator okay so you can't um, delete this role or user role the last user role can't be deleted so <clears throat> Uh, let me go to create to the local user view that we have created so local user admin class manage let's play this so <clears throat> okay so we have this local user created and the password so as you can as you saw here I actually said simple where is it I actually said simple actually said simple but when here simple password simple but uh, if you go into the uh, local user view you see that uh, password says hash not uh, not simple anymore so just want to show you that and service type is uh, we both uh, enabled SSH in telnet and I think this is also uh, the authorization attribute user role is also enabled by default but this is the one that we have configured right network admin so let me see if I can undo this because we didn't configure this okay so so I guess you can delete it because you have this you have the network admin as the user role 
but I believe you cannot uh, undo it when there is no user role enabled. So let me undo. I mean, hmm, you can actually. Okay, you, so you don't have to have a user role in the uh, configured on the local user, but it's uh, better that you configure it. So I'm gonna put it back. Authorization, attribute, user role, admin, network admin. Display this. Okay, so <clears throat> we're done. You can actually type return, to, uh, so you can uh, go into the user mode. So I'm gonna try to turn it into myself or into this switch. So we have the IP address 10.1.1.30. So admin, look, username is admin, password is HP. So system view, uh, let me do a show IP interface brief. Okay, let me just try to uh, save the config. All right, so we have successfully uh, uh, logged into the uh, access switch uh, through Telnet. Let me go to the core uh, switch and see if I can turn it into the access switch also. Three. Oops. So you have to be in the user mode. Uh, turn it. Okay. Login, admin, password, HP. Okay. And <clears throat> As you can see here, we can verify the users that are currently logged in by doing a display users. So we have two users that are logged in via Telnet. So BTY1, BTY, BTY0, and BTY1. And you can also do display line. So as you can see, uh, line is active, that's a plus sign, meaning that uh, BTY0 and BTY1 are both active. So, yep, that's how you can uh, log into HP switches through Telnet. So, yep, that's it in this video. Thanks for watching.